What's up everybody? I've got a new unboxing video for you today. This will be my second one. I don't know how often I'll be doing these. It just depends on how often I get some stuff. The first one is just one from Carl's Bait and Tackle. I get most of my lures from them. And also the second one is going to be a special one. That is a new really cool addition for the kayak. So I'm excited to show you guys that one. Here we go. All right, here we go. First unboxing. All right, let's see. Oh, this may have been one I ordered. <laughs> I keep I get confused on the ones I ordered for myself of stuff I want and then my regular monthly one. The mystery tackle box so this is not the mystery tackle box one this is just some um, stuff i bought that i needed so here we go well surprise for me too all right so here we go um these are some deadbolt uh mushroom head jigs these are this is what i use for the rattling nets that i use so i really like these i've got a few of these that i've used before so these are mushroom head and then I got basically, I did two different sizes <clears throat> of these because I wasn't sure which one I had because I didn't have the original bag. So these are a tenth of an ounce and these are an eighth of an ounce. So I can use those for, you know, two different types of lures or I can use them for the same lures, however I want to go with that. So this, they had these on sale. These are on sale. I don't know if they're still on sale. If they are by the time the video comes out, uh, y'all need to hit them up. I don't use jigs a lot, um, but I got a buddy of mine, David, who uses them all the time. And so shout out to him. Um, he doesn't know this. Um, I don't know if this will get to him by then or not, but one of these is going to be his. And then I'm going to go ahead and keep one. These were only a dollar each. So they may still be running that deal. I'm just not sure if they are or not. And then I had to get me some more um, rattling Neds. I love these things, man. These are the peanut butter and jelly. Let's see if that'll focus. There it is, peanut butter and jelly. And <clears throat> these have been really good. I've only started using them recently also because I don't use a lot of, like I said, jigs and other things like that. And to me, this is kind of like a jig without a skirt. So I have to work it different than I'd usually work a plastic worm just because of the type of jig head that I use. And I get stuck and hung up all the time with these. Um, I need to get some more of these that are they have a um they're not just a straight shank on the hook they have like a little dog leg in them i can't remember what that's called but i want to get some more of those because then i can rig them up weightless sorry not weightless so i can rig them up weedless and be able to run them in a lot of different cover here in tennessee it's not like where i grew up there's rocks everywhere in the water and so i get hung on rocks a lot and on other things maybe i'm not working it exactly right but these get hung up a lot when they're not rigged weedless so that's the first box not as uh a surprise as i thought it was going to be but here we go next one all right here we go next one Everybody ready? I'm so excited. I wish you could see the smile on my face right now. Here it is. Piranha Max 4 Fish Finder. Never had a fish finder before because, you know, never had a boat. So this is, um, I, got a, I got a good deal on it. It probably wasn't like, you know, a super great deal. And, um, but I had a, I found a $25 gift card somehow that was just laying around that I hadn't used yet. That was at Bass Pro Shop. So I ordered this one online and saved myself $25. Pretty sure my buddy David gave that to me for Christmas one year. So I don't know how that sat around so long and never got used. But um, saved 25 bucks on it. And I'm going to um, open it up. 
So this is the Hummingbird Pronomax 4. It's not the DI version. The DI version, from what I understand, is the downward imaging. And this is not that. This is just a basic. It's a dual beam sonar. It does have a color display, though. So let's open it up and see what happens. All right, here we go. I'm using the um, kitchen shears for this. These boxes are deadly. So... You can get one of these kind of boxes open without cutting yourself. You're doing pretty good. My dog hasn't come downstairs with all the plastic unwrapping noises going on. Here we go. So, I don't know a whole lot about this. I, I read a lot of reviews, and I just decided that for the cost and for what I'm going to use it for with my kayak, I didn't need some massive you know, 10 inch screen or something like that on the kayak. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I didn't want anything that huge. And I should still be able to use this on my boat once I get it out and on the water. So let's see what this has got. So it comes with the transducer. Down here get these all lined up for you so transducer and quite a bit of cable I don't know how long this is but that should be plenty um, for where I'm gonna mount it on the kayak I don't need a whole a whole lot of length um, I do need to get another battery most likely I like a real small maybe a seven uh, seven amp hour battery that I can actually fit inside the hull. The um, <clears throat> the openings on my Tamarack um, 100, I think, are only like six inches. The little um, for the stowaway storage holes or whatever they're called. So I've got another battery that I got to. Oh, no, I can't remember. I think it's a 20 amp hour that I got before that I was using with my trolling motor mod, but it's too big. It won't go down inside. The actual hull of the kayak so i'm gonna have to get a smaller one but i don't need much to run this and i may even rig some other stuff up to it also but and obviously i haven't read anything so i don't know what all this is but i know that this mounts as far as i've seen nope that's not it so you get the the mounting hardware and Let's see what else. Transducer. I'll have to look and see what this is. I can't. I don't. I don't know what that is. I'll figure it out. And get back to you. All right. So this is one that I will read the instructions on, but I have read a little bit, and you can see I'm sitting out there on the side. So <clears throat> this, the transducer, just clips into the back of the control head. So that's going to go back there, just like that. I'm not going to leave that in there. And then this actually connects into here. And that's the power cable is what this is. So that's going to have to be, I may have to, that may not be long enough. That's maybe only four to six feet. So <clears throat> we'll see how long this is. And if it's not long enough, I'll figure it out. But I think I can mount the battery in a place where, under the hole, where this will actually fit. So that goes to the power source, transducer side, 
and then these are just the mounts so I'm not going to do all these now because I'll probably do a separate video once I start mounting it onto the kayak so you guys get to see all that but um, super excited about this first time I've ever had one of these and I've got a lot of reading to do probably to make sure I know how to actually work the thing before I get it in the water and mounting it underneath is going to be interesting there's not a lot of space underneath the tamaracks so I'll have to see what I'm going to do with that but should be fun hopefully I can find some fish with it and then hopefully I can catch them well thanks again for watching I'm going to sign off and we'll have another video out for you soon